Hello and welcome to my review of the Orc Gretchen. This set will set you back £12.50, which is actually not too bad for 11 models. However, I come from the time when 10 space means we're £10. Uh, so to have Gretchen um, cost a little bit more is, yeah, very, very odd times indeed. But that was many years ago. Let's have a look at these uh, models individually. We'll look at all the detail. So because I, I, I got these uh, models a while ago, um, I don't have access to the um, spare parts. Uh, and sometimes I do get the Gretchen mixed up. Uh, originally I had uh, this Gretchen, which is actually the ammo runt for the um, flash kits, uh, but I had him in with uh, with these. Let's have a look at the, the models individually. I think for a while they were in fine cast and then they completely converted uh, most of the range into plastic. Um, so these squiggly bit, so these are Gretchen or Snots um, or Grots. Uh, I think Snots are smaller, but uh, yeah, these Gretchen have these uh, Grot blasters. Um, you've got this one here the massive pistols. Um, you can just imagine these orcs treating these uh, Gretchen terribly, well, terribly, uh, you know, kicking them around and stuff and not treating, treating them very well. Uh, they're, they're a better shot though than normal orcs, you know. Typically their ballistic skill is four plus instead of five plus. Um, I don't have the red gobbo on me anyway. I, I'm not sure where that model is. Uh, I should have really got it for this review. But uh, yeah, you've got this one here with a, some kind of rebar uh, with a pistol and an eye patch. This one with uh, some kind of face mask. Quite convenient, quite appropriate for these times. Um, you've got this one here, which I've done the size comparison with most of the Orc uh, models. Or is it this one? I can't get them. They, these two look very similar. Uh, and then this one right here with this big, big old dagger. That's not a knife. That's a knife. If you think about it, that blade is as tall as him. Imagine that, holding a knife or blade that's as tall as you. Uh, this is the runt herd. Uh, he keeps them all in, in check with his goad and his uh, squig on a leash. Um, so yeah, he's uh, keeping them all. I would love to see a big refresh with a bigger runt herd on bigger bases and, and just a refresh of these Gretchen. Uh, Games Workshop would do such an amazing job with the other smaller um, beasts like the uh, Nurglings and things that I'd, I'd like to see them, uh, you know, refresh the Gretchen. Maybe even give you an option to have a full Gretchen army uh, that includes killer cans, grot tanks, mech guns, and Gretchen as their own force with a Gretchen HQ. Just as an option, maybe it's a, a small warband somewhere and it just consists of those, but uh, I'd like to see that one day. Size comparisons then, I don't need to show you any uh, Gretchen next to the Gretchen, but I will put my knob on the table and uh, show you just how big it is compared to these Gretchen. This knob is huge, um, easily dwarfs all of these, these Gretchen, which is probably about two, maybe three times bigger than uh, the surrounding Gretchen. I've got the an Orc Boy, uh, again, these Gretchen are tiny compared to normal Orc Boys. And then we've got a war boss right here, which, yeah, is even smaller near, near a war boss, especially, you know, a war boss in, in mega armor uh, too. All right, so we've got a nice selection of orcs uh, going on here. How about we throw in some uh, Imperial models in the form of a, an intercessor, which could just stamp on these Gretchen. I feel a bit sorry for them that the Primaris could just squish them under his boot. The Space Marine, yeah, they could, they could jump a Space Marine, a few of them, um, you know, a bit, bit wary of them. And then uh, compared to a, an Astro Militarum or Catachan uh, model here, Sly Marbo, um, the Gretchen are probably um, size of children compared to normal, normal sized humans. Um, so yeah, but uh, very vicious, very evil goblin type creatures. So underestimate them at your peril uh, before you get shanked in the back. Uh, or ganged up on by uh, by these uh, Gretchen. They are merciless and they will not uh, hesitate to um, cut you a new one or, or blow a few holes into you. So we've now scampered into this part of the review where I will go through all of the rules for the uh, Gretchen. They are a troop choice in your Orc Codex. They're a PowerPoints cost over one, making them the cheapest 
power points cost in the whole of your army. And the good news continues in the match play points cost where a one single Gretchen will cost you no more than three points. Fantastic. What do you get for these paltry three points then? Well, they're a movement of five inches, weapon skill five plus, ballistic skill four plus, strength two, toughness two, one wound, one attack, leadership four, and a save of six plus. They are better than boys in the ballistic skill department, as I've mentioned before, the ballistic skill is four plus, but everywhere else they are worse. Well, except for the movement speed, they can run as fast as Hawk boys, which I think is a bit hilarious, but there we go. Uh, the unit contains 10 Gretchen. It can include up to 10 additional Gretchen for a power rating of plus one, or up to 20 additional Gretchen for a power rating of plus three. So yeah, for a power rating of four, you're getting 30 Gretchen, lovely. Each model is armed with a Grot Blaster. The Grot Blaster is a 12 inch range, pistol one, strength three, AP zero, damage one. It's nothing to write home about. You're not gonna be blowing chunks out of a Warlord Titan's armor uh, with that weapon. However, it is something at least. Abilities, Daka Daka Daka, surprisingly dangerous in large numbers. Here we go. This is their unique ability. Add one to hit rolls for attacks made by models in this unit while it contains 20 or more models. It's odd, it's one to attack rolls, uh, so the close combat, you know, you're, you're negating that weapon skill 5 plus a little bit. I would have liked to have seen some kind of uh, grot orderly type um, ability whereby they all fire in unison, they get an AP minus 1 maybe, or they get to fire twice, or I don't know, I would have liked to have seen some kind of extra ability there. But uh, we are where we are, that's uh, the rules for 10 of them. Definitely worth uh, taking 30 of them, or if you just want to be cheesy, just take two squads of 10 uh, for, for power points cost of a two, and that's your troop choice uh, sorted out. You can then spend loads of, mon loads of points on your Death Krilla War Trike or your Big Mech in Mega Armor or Gazgul or whatever. However, where they come into their own is with a Runt Herd, which is the, the Orc boy in the middle there. Taking one of those is an elite choice. However, if you've got the Gretchen Infantry unit, uh, then it doesn't take up an elite choice, so there's a benefit there. The Runt Herd's uh, stat line reads as a movement of five inches, weapon skill three plus, ballistic skill five plus, strength four, toughness four, four wounds, three attacks, leadership seven, and a save of six plus. That's quite decent. You know, he's got the three attacks there, he's got four wounds, he does quite well in combat. He's armed with a slugger and a grab stick. Now the slugger works as usual. It's a 12 inch range, pistol one, strength four, AP zero, and damage one weapon. Uh, but the grabber stick is a melee weapon, adds one to his strength, so that's strength five, AP zero, damage one. But each time the bearer fights, it can make one additional attack with this weapon. Uh, the model may replace its grabber stick with a grot prod. Now I think that's what he's equipped with there. The grot prod uh, adds two to the strength, so strength six, AP minus one, and damage one. So you're swapping out the additional attack, which would be four, for a better strength and some armor penetration. This model may take either a grot lash or a squig hound, and this one's equipped with a squig hound, and we'll go through that in a moment. Abilities, here we go, mob rule, daka daka daka. Runt herd. I've already explained that if the army is battleforged, you must include at least one unit comprised entirely of Gretchen infantry, and uh, the Runt Herd does not take uh, up a slot in the detachment. The Squig Hound then, if a unit comprised entirely of Gretchen infantry fails a morale test, while it is within three inches of any friendly Runt Herd models with a Squig Hound, ignore the result. D3 models from the unit are slain instead. So they just ignore it, but at the cost of the Squig Hound eating one of them. Ugh. Grot Lash. Reroll hit rolls of one in the fight phase for attacks made by units comprised entirely of Gretchen infantry while they are within three inches of any friendly Runt Herd models with a Grot Lash. Now that's quite decent having the Grot Lash because you know you're re-rolling those hit rolls of a one uh, which may be uh, beneficial after the surprisingly dangerous in large numbers ability um, it no longer works because uh, you've you've dropped below 20 models, so it kind of replaces that. Um, it's up to you which you think is um, the more useful uh, item. I think the Grot Lash is preferred in units comprising of less than 20 Gretchen. However, I think the Squig Hound is also very decent in that uh, they can just ignore uh, morale tests. Keywords, Orc, Character, Infantry, and Runt Herd. 
So there you go, uh, that is my review of the Gretchen and the Runt Herd. Uh, £12.50, it's not too bad, but uh, the models are getting on a bit now and I would like a, a refresh of them. They've got some more right abilities, but I think that they could um, lean on their ballistic skill being four plus a little bit and have, have an extra ability too. But at the end of the day, they are troops, they're not elites. So we have to be realistic in their, um, in their battlefield role and capabilities. What do you guys think of uh, Gretchen? Do you always take a, a unit um, just to fill up your, your troop choice or do you just um, straight up grab loads of boys uh, in your orc army? Do you like to theme or have a narrative uh, Gretchen based army? Please do share it all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching for Gork and Mork.